All right, the story I'm going to read to you today is called Bird Talk, What Birds Are Saying and Why, by Lita Judge. So yesterday we got to read White Owl, Barn Owl, and today Bird Talk. Chirp, warble, quack. Coo, rattle, screech. In backyards, meadows, and forests, the air is filled with bird talk. But what are they saying? Pick me! Male songbirds go all out to get noticed in the spring. The melodious song and bright colored feathers of an American goldfinch say, Choose me, I'm the healthiest. Like most songbirds, the female is quieter and drabber, the better to sit unnoticed on her nest. Wah, wah, wah. A bluebird of paradise sings to attract a mate and defend his territory. To make sure a female notices, he flips upside down and swings frantically to and fro. An American robin sings hundreds of different songs. The more complicated his song, the more he says, I have the most experience. I'll make the best mate. I'm the strongest. Not all birds sing to attract mates and claim their territory. Some males strut, bang, and boom. To catch the eye of a female, male sage grouse puff up their feathers and strut like runway models. Then they make loud popping sounds by blowing up air sacs and rubbing their wings across the chest. Plop, plop, kaploop. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Wild turkeys strut as well, but their naked heads are covered in wattles that turn scarlet red. The bird with the biggest, brightest wattles usually wins. A palm cockatoo is a regular one-man hard rock band. He whistles and bobs his head. Then he breaks off a stick to drum against a tree. The message is clear to the other males. Stay away, this is my tree. Let's do the blue footed booby dance. Many birds dance to communicate with a future mate. Blue footed boobies don't want to be confused with red footed boobies. So the male lifts his feet, proudly showing their bright blue color. If a female likes what she sees, she joins the dance announcing, we belong together. Western Greebies dance in perfect unison by running across the water like a pair of water skiers. After their fancy footwork, the partners present weeds to each other as if to say, and this is how we will build our nest. Indian Saros cranes bow and leap, performing an elegant ballet. They trumpet loudly and throw sticks into the air proclaiming, we are paired, we will build a nest together. Their bond is so strong they mate for life. Greetings. Birds who share nesting duties have a lot to say to each other. A pair of European white storks greet one another each time one parent returns to the nest. They throw their heads forward and back, clattering their bills. A male rhinoceros hornbill says, I will provide, as he brings food to his mate. The female has sealed herself inside a tree nest for three months, incubating eggs and caring for her young. When a northern gannet returns from fishing, she and her mate stand on tiptoe over the nest. The one to leave its bill pointing skyward the longest says, my turn to take off. Over here, parents and chicks learn the sound of each other's voices. We took a look at penguins earlier this year. Emperor penguin parents must find their chick among thousands after they return from fishing in the sea. The chicks call eagerly. In the deafening noise, the parent trumpets back until they are reunited. If danger is near, a mother common merganser calls to her chicks, stay close. The family swims to safety. A flamingo chick peeps softly before it has even hatched. Its parent chirps back, offering encouragement to break free from the egg. I'm not here! Some birds use trickery to protect themselves and their nests. The American bittern has a loud booming call, but when danger draws near, she sits still as a stone. Her lie, I'm not here, is convincing even to the keenest eye. 
a sun bittern blends into her surroundings with striped brown and gray feathers. But if a hawk comes close, she fans her tail and flashes red patches on golden wings. Stay back. I'm a double-eyed monster. When a fox stalks near the nest of a North American killdeer, Mama screams and flaps a wing awkwardly. Her broken wing trick says, follow me, I'm injured, I'm a better meal. She stays just out of reach, luring the fox away from her eggs. I just think it's amazing how God has created all of these birds to have these instincts. They don't get taught how to do them, but they know how to do them because God created them that way. Look out, we're under attack! Within a flock, birds communicate to protect themselves. Caw, caw! An American crow screeches, oh, shrieks, an alarm when a great horned owl comes near. Instead of flying to safety, the flock joins her. They scold and mob the predator, chasing it away. But when a crow prowls for eggs, Scandinavian field fairs declare war. Chat, chat, they warn. If the intruder doesn't flee, they dive at the crow, dumping missiles of poop. Sometimes it's safer to sound the alarm quietly. When a purple finch spots a hawk overhead, he makes a short seat call that says, keep quiet, danger is near. Quickly, the flock stays, takes cover. Come on, fly. A, mother call, a mother's call encourages her young. A young peregrine falcon is nervous to take his first flight from high on a cliff nest. Mother sits in a nearby tree, calling sharply with food. Eventually, he flaps toward her. She continues the training until he can grab prey in midair. A blue jay listens for the call of his hungry youngster. The fledgling has left the nest but isn't ready to fly. Her parent answers with tender feeding calls as he brings her next meal. Cuck, cuck, cuck. A mother wood duck summons her chicks just after they've hatched. They can't fly, but they can swim and find food once they leave their tree nest. Jump! Listen and learn. Some birds don't just sing from instinct alone. They learn to mimic or imitate the calls and songs of birds around them. Baby scarlet macaws learn to mimic calls the way human babies learn to talk, by listening to their parents. Northern mockingbirds even mimic other bird songs. What better way to say to a mate, choose me, I'm the smartest. They can be noisy neighbors, even imitating man-made sounds like car alarms, ambulance sirens, and cell phone rings. Those are pretty amazing. African gray parrots are excellent mimics. Many learn to repeat people's voices but one named Alex learned to use words with human meaning. With his vocabulary of about 150 words, he could name objects, count to six, ask and answer questions, and request rewards. Want a nut? Whether they sound like people or sing a song, birds are talking just like you. And then in the back of the book, it gives a lot of information about the different habitats that all of these different birds live in, um, and the ranges that they live in, and then what they eat. Um, yeah, a lot of really great information. This would have been a great book to have when we were studying our habitats um, earlier this year, too, because they live in rainforests, in wetlands, streams, meadows, tundra, deserts, so all over. Maybe today you'll have a chance to see some birds out there. Maybe you'll be able to hear some of the, the songs and sounds that they make. Maybe you can try to figure out what they are trying to say. All right, have a great day.